previously on The Walking Dead. AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin, the leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home, a real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Violet backed me up. I attacked Marlin and made him drop the gun. I told him we could fix things together. But then... Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To save the last bullet for himself. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlin? I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. Marlin, he... he was down. You had him beat. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But... but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He... Look, you did the right thing. The only thing you could do. 
Marlin was a monster. Lewis doesn't understand that, but he will. You were justified. I was justified. What are we gonna do? Talks Marlin down, and then they fucking murdered him. Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. It was over. To little Mr. Trigger Happy decided otherwise. Marlin started this. He killed Brody and almost got me too. AJ did what he had to do. What he had to? He didn't have to shoot Marlin in the fucking skull. It was over. Get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? They better not call me a monster. They were scared of me, even though Marlin was the bad guy. I'm not scary. I wasn't... I didn't act like a monster. I know you're not. We just need to prove it to them. I'll tell them they're wrong. They'll know once someone explains it to them. Like, you explain things to me. AJ, come sit with... We've got nothing to apologize for. You saved me and them from a monster. They'll see that. We'll make them. Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? <clears throat> Screw both of you. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. Did you kill your friend Lee because he was a monster? Well, what brought that on? Was it murder when you shot him? I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He would have turned. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Hey. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night, like a firefighter. What are those? Drawings for Marlon and Brody. It's of stuff they wanted. I'm going to put them on their graves. They don't need them. They're dead. They're not gonna get that stuff. That's not why you do it. It's a sweet idea, Ten. They'll look really nice on the graves. Thank you. Have fun with your firefighter, okay? Can we play with them later? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vial will start it soon. See you out there. This is gonna suck. They're gonna say a lot of things about Marlin and Brody. Some true, some not. Let's just get through it without upsetting everybody, okay? Okay, I'll try. <sighs> Ray.
ready? Oh, God. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? <clears throat> Why do people have funerals? Tin said they used to have them more if they died. But I don't get it. Well, to remember people we loved. <sighs> they loved Marlin. Yeah, they did. I didn't love Marlin. Let's just get through this. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters. Even monsters. That's not fair. <sighs> Lots of things aren't fair. Ten. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis. He was your best friend. It wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. AJ killed him like it was nothing. I don't appreciate your tone, Mitch. Yeah? Well, I don't appreciate your kid murdering my friend. I... I was justified. Clem told me. Fuck, I can't listen to this. Damn, that's... shit. That's what you told him? That what he did was... was okay? We can't. Wait. We should talk this out. I know. This sucks. I'm sorry for that. I really am. But AJ did what he had to do. Are you shitting me right now? See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. Majority decides. They stay, or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. I don't want to leave. But if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem. You heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go.
AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. Come here, sit down. No. It didn't work. I did what you said, and they didn't even care. Marlon was bad. I tried to tell them, but they wouldn't even listen at all. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? Come on. You don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad. And you have every reason to be upset. We'll deal with it together, okay? Okay. We stop, we think, and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh, I think I'm sad, too. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to show them I was right, like you said. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? I thought they would listen to us. I didn't realize it. I didn't know how bad it would be. It's my fault they got angry. But they hate me. They don't hate you. Hmm. I think they hate us both. I don't want to go. I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Lewis and Violet. We took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Whatever helps you sleep at night. What'll help me sleep at night is knowing you two are gone. You can be such a shithead, Lewis. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ isn't dangerous, too. <sighs> we'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. We'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. Thanks for making sure that we... <laughs> no, don't thank them. It's, it's their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. Get him under control. AJ, breathe. <sighs> Where's Tin? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. I'm not walking out into the woods with him holding that thing. It's yours, AJ. You should keep it. It's mine. I need it for monsters. If I thought you were only going to use it on monsters, 
I wouldn't be so worried about it. Fine. Let the kid keep the murder weapon. <laughs> Will we get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. Don't pretend you give a shit. We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I didn't want this. Come on, let's just go. Yeah, so do I. I wish we hadn't fucked it up. You didn't. Marlon did. Even dead, he's still ruining shit. Jesus, Violet. Give him some fucking peace. Just stay safe. Both of you. Still got that gun? Just try to be more careful with it, okay? I will. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. Hmm. You haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. We'll find someplace new. Someplace better. I'll try not to mess it up. Saw a couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? Oh, shit. That's the man from the train station? Yes. I thought he died. You can survive a bite if you cut it off fast enough. Ugh. Stay here. aren't you? Huh! <sighs> 
wooden boy. Any closer, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Good to see you again, Squirt. Don't! I've seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlon. He's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. Come on, kid. We don't want to be out here all day. It's not my school. I don't live there. I find that very hard to believe. Not a lot of kid communes around here. Ah! Don't! Ah! Let him go! Please! Sure. If you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Clementine! Oh my god. Clementine, it's you? I... My name is Lily. You probably don't remember me. Lily? I thought you died. I came close. What the hell? Not now. The fuck is this? I said, not now. Lee isn't with you. So he's dead then. I'll never forget him leaving me on the side of the road to die. I don't blame him. I was clearly a threat to the group after I shot that girl. Carly. Lee should have left you behind too. Might have lived longer if he did. Same thing will happen to you if you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there. You'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. A walker you didn't spot. A bullet you couldn't dodge. A desperate cry for help that brings the herd. I'm not Lee. I've survived for years on my own. You've made it this far. I'll give you that. But you and a few other kids hiding out in the woods? You have to know that can't last. Fuck, we don't have time- We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. What? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. That way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. Run!
Oh, shit. Get the shrapnel out. Me? I'll keep him still. Ah! 
trying not to be loud. It's okay, AJ. Just breathe. Put your hands there. Stop the bleeding. It's okay, AJ. He's just gonna patch you up. That's enough. For now. Whoa, whoa. Easy. Easy. Where's our stuff? My gun. We lost it, buddy. Listen, buddy. They're safe. Yeah, probably. Shit. I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Call themselves Whisperers. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Does it hurt? Hungry. Eat. Both of you. Thank you. Do you have a name? Been a while. Since? I've said it. James. Why did you help us, James? The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? I know they steal kids. They took two last year. A common practice for them. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people. To make them fight. Train them. Use them. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. That's why I helped you. Thank you. Clem? Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. Thank you. Safe. It was difficult to send the herd in. To save you. I didn't want them to die. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here.
Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away? I lived in a school nearby. Lived? Well, we're not welcome there anymore. So, where are you from? Washington. The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. <sighs> You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine. If you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns, more fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back. Or you'll lose him. I'll go back. Convince them to help AJ. They'll take us back once they see him. They wouldn't turn AJ away. You hope? I'll help you get back. Past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Sleep. I'll keep watch. Okay, I will. What about you? Don't need it. Not tonight. Rest well. Good night.